gorgeous Sagittarians. This is Debs and this is your TGIF for Friday the 21st of June 2024. Sadie, I hope you guys have had an amazing week. Um, let's get into this and find out how your person feels about you. The deck that I'm using is the Tarot Grand Lux. Everything you need, guys, is down below. The link to my website if you'd like a private reading, all the decks I use, and the link to join the channel if you're interested in membership. So sad. Should we see what's going on? Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Friday the 21st of June 2024. I'm hearing someone say, let's just get on with it. Let's just get on with it. Let's just get on with it. Almost irritated. Sad, maybe someone's irritating you. Maybe I'm just getting a huffy energy. And Sag, I love you guys. I've got Sag rising, okay? No judgment. You may be annoyed about something. You may be annoyed. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. Well, let's just get on with it then type of thing. Yeah. Oh, Sag, okay. All right, guys. Let's just see. Let's stay positive is what I'm hearing. <laughs> let's stay positive. <laughs> okay. Maybe, Sag, someone's trying to calm you down. Let's just keep calm, Sag. Okay. All right. Ace of Cups. Sag, you are firmly sat in self-love, looking at moving into an emotionally fulfilling new cycle. Okay. I'm hearing let's start with that. <laughs> Three of Cups. I'm hearing we want everyone to be happy. Everyone needs to be happy and relaxed. Let's not, um, I'm hearing talk about the past. Let's not talk about the past. Everything is going to be okay. All right. Wow. A lot of channel messages. Judgment. Your card of Sag. Sag, you are making a judgment call. I'm hearing to agree to an emotionally satisfying new start but why do I feel you're not happy about this you may feel as if someone's twisted your arm something may not have gone your way the divine is saying you need to make this judgment call for reconciliation to bring happiness to a dynamic you were dealing with with the energy of the Five of Cups, it may be difficult, Sag, to put on a smile, is what I'm hearing, because you may feel deep down disappointed. Maybe something didn't go your way. Maybe something happened that made you feel a bit flat, a bit disappointed, you know? Wow, okay. The devil. You're turning your back on... What might have been a really difficult, toxic situation. Now, this can be you dealing with the devil energy within yourself. And I say that tentatively and with love, because this is not you, Sag, dealing with evil energy within you. It can simply be lust, you know, greed desire, unhealthy patterns of behaviour, sabotage, uh, ego. What I think the divine is saying is, if you can make the judgment call for some kind of reconciliation to bring forth an emotionally fulfilling new start and leave this toxic energy behind, even though you may be slightly disappointed, it's going to work to your benefit later on down the line. Is what I'm hearing later on down the line. Okay. Nine of Cups. Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups. The Star. Okay, Sag. This is a really beautiful energy, Sag. This is a really lovely energy. What I think you're going to be moving into is a lot of happiness 
and a passionate new start with you feeling emotionally fulfilled and you sitting in a place of healing. Now, Sag, if you are dealing with a Queen of Cups, if this is somehow relating to a Queen of Cups or even a Capricorn or an Aquarian, then what they're saying is even though you may be disappointed, hold your head high, put a smile on your face because this is actually going to work out better than you thought. The Fool. The Sun. The High Priestess. Look at these major arcana. Wow. The angels are all over this reading. The hangman. Wow. I would be shocked if you weren't dealing with a Pisces. High Priestess, Hangman, Queen of Cups. We've got Leo here too. Four of Swords. Sag, this is reconciliation and healing. Now, this is not necessarily love, although it could be, as in romantic love. This could be a friendship. It could be a family situation. What we have here is you leaving disappointments in the past, letting it go, any resentment, you know, uh, feelings of anger deep down, feeling that you were really happy with a state of play, but maybe then looking at things and realising, you know what, mm, I was sat in the energy of the devil a little bit. It would have been great, but mm, maybe not. What the divine is saying is try and see things from somebody else's perspective, somebody else's point of view. It might be that if you could do that and put yourself in their shoes, you would recognise that this needed to have happened. Making a judgment call for reconciliation, not to sit feeling angry or resentful or cross, right? Try to see the situation from this person's point of view. If you can, I think there's going to be a lot of happiness. This is the two of you on a brand new journey, whether or not you're just patching up a friendship or whether or not this is you moving into a love connection. This is going to work, but you have to release this toxicity, the need to control, the need to receive, the need to have things your own way. OK, if you can do that, this is going to work out beautifully. You're on a brand new path. There's a lot of happiness. OK, use your intuition, see the bigger picture and sit in the energy of healing. And the angels are all over this. A lot of major arcana. Underneath the deck, Sag, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. We've got the Ten of Pentacles and we've got... The Five of Wands. All right, now, Sag. This could have been a toxic situation where there was a lot of arguing about money. Money being the root of all evil, you know, with the devil. And this is you taking a big step back, realising that rather than fighting and being angry and resentful and upset, you should see someone's point of view and move into your heart space and just allow... The divine to balance everything out. With the energy of the Ten of Cups, this can either be the mending of a family situation or this can be you conflicted as to whether or not you wanted to move into a romantic connection. We have the energy of the Emperor. So Sag, you could want to sit in the energy of the Emperor. You could want to get married, but you may have been thinking... This would be a financially lucrative situation for me to move into, which is the energy of the devil, rather than wanting to be with someone because you genuinely love them. I've got to say that. Because this is nine of cups, I'd have everything I've ever wanted. I'm attracted to this person and I'd sit in the ten of pentacles, which is not what it's all about. If this is a family dynamic, this emperor wants everyone to be happy and hates the fact that there's been arguments about money. 
We've got the energy of the Empress. So this could be about moving into a long term relationship or this could be parental. This is parents, you know, wanting the family to get on. Six of Swords, Sag. So this is moving to calmer waters. This is moving to calmer waters and healing a situation. So guys, let's get some messages from the angels. Let's see what they have to say. Now, Sag, this could be totally switched. The way I'm reading it is, in the nicest sense, you facing Judgment Day, feeling a bit disappointed, thinking about the energy of the devil, right? Overindulgence. But it could be the other way around. You may feel someone wants to be indulged and you're angry about that. But whatever this is, this is calming things down, seeing somebody else's perspective and reconciliation. What do we have from the angels, Michael, please? Within the next few weeks, okay. So something's going to happen, Sag, in the next few weeks. Okay. Ask for help from others. So, Sag, within the next few weeks, you are being advised to seek help elsewhere. Seek help elsewhere. Okay. And that will bring about big, happy changes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Big, happy changes. So, Sag, you may have been relying on someone or something and it may not have worked out the way you wanted it to. But I think there's going to be a coming together, some kind of reconciliation. And you may be asked by the angels to talk to someone else if you need some kind of help. And that may be the path that the angels want you to follow. You're ready. Okay. Sag, you may be ready to follow a new path. You may have to leave something behind, you know, cut your losses for the sake of keeping the peace or keeping a family together or for the sake of a relationship. You're being asked to move forward and find the help you need elsewhere. That's what I'm getting. No need to worry. Sad, you may be sat in a lot of fear, a lot of stress. Oh, my goodness. I hope this would work out. But if you know that what you hoped for would land you in the energy of this devil card, whether it's greed, whether or not it's ego, then it's not good. And the angels wanted you to step out of that energy and try and seek advice, help from someone else, another route, which wouldn't potentially be connected to an unhealthy pattern of behavior or wanting something out of a sense of, I want it, it's mine, control, you know, which is also the energy of the devil. No need to worry, Sag, but ask for help from other people within the next few weeks. There's going to be some big happy changes if you do. Yeah, and it could relate to your abundance. It could relate to money. Okay. So, Sag, you may have been hoping for something and felt really disappointed. But what they're saying is that wasn't where you were supposed to be receiving the abundance from. If this is money, you may have been hoping to receive money from someone and this is you feeling very disappointed. Although there could be a situation here when someone says, look, you know, I still have feelings for you. I still care about you, but I'm not going to give you that amount of money. This is you may be angry. But what they're saying is, what you were hanging on to was not right. The money wasn't supposed to come from that source. It's supposed to come from someone else, right? Yeah. Okay, guys. Oh, this is a challenging reading. Please don't shoot the messenger, guys. I'm literally reading what we have in front of us. Could be switched, as you know. Underneath that is wait. Sad, you may need to wait to balance out your finances, or you may need to wait a little bit longer for some help from another direction, someone else or another group of people. Okay. All right, guys, let's from here move straight into the second reading because I feel this is pretty specific. You may be dealing with one person, sure, but this could also be a dynamic, a group of people. So let's shift into the second reading right now and see what else comes through. Okay, let's do that. 
All right, my lovely Saudis, let's get into this and see what comes through. We're looking at energies from now through until the end of 2024. So let's do that. Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Sagittarians, please? Now through until the end of 2024. What do we have for Sag? Thank you, Michael. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do we have for Sag? Thank you, Michael. Cars have been really difficult. I'm hearing in a sticky situation. Okay, all right. Mm. You'll be okay, Sag. You will be fine. You will be fine. You may just have to look at another direction or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Eight of Cups. So Sag, you are going to be shifting in a new direction. You're walking away from the hope of something. You're feeling a little bit nervous with the energy of the moon. But with the Three of Cups, there is going to be a sense of peace and reconciliation again. And there could be, with a page of cups, a lot of happiness relating to a child. Or there could be a lot of happiness relating to a difficult situation which can be transformed. You may be coming together with someone who apologises to you. Ace of cups. And there's going to be an emotional, happy new start. Sag, this is lovely. OK, wow. Now, there could be a connection here with a Cancerian, masculine or feminine with the moon. That for me with a crab is Cancer. Wow. And we've got the chariot, which is Cancer. OK, so you may be moving. You could be relocating. You could be traveling to see someone. You could be traveling to see someone, Sag. And it may well be that with the Three of Pentacles, you're somehow working in partnership with someone else. You're standing at crossroads with the Two of Wands. Now, this could even, Sag, be financial assistance from someone who might live at a distance. Yeah, Sag, the sun. This is a lot of happiness, growth, expansion, coming together and celebrating. Sag, this is a completely different energy coming through than the energy in the first reading. This is moving forwards, reconciling with someone. There's apologies here. There's love expressed. The chariot lets move forward. And with the two of wands, you're at crossroads, but thinking that in the future, things are going to work out. Beautiful, Sag. I really love this. Yeah, there's going to be, with the Knight of Coins, either reconciliation, which could lead to a long-term relationship, or Sag, someone here may be giving you money. Someone here may be giving you money. And with the Four of Swords, this is going to enable you to rest, to relax, to not have to stress, to not have to worry. Remember the angel messages. Yes, and you are at this point. This could be at the end of the year, something like that. Could be even before that time. You are now able to sort of take stock, de-stress and look at your options in front of you. Yep, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Sag, this is beautiful. Now, this again can be a large amount of money coming in. Or this is you, Sag, talking to somebody about moving or relocating. OK, page of coins. You could be talking to someone here about a child. There could be money here given to you for a child from someone. Who lives at a distance. And you're sort of sitting in a bit of relief here thinking, wow, that's good. Seven of Cups, looking at the options of what to do with this money. This could be money that you're hoping to invest for a child. Or this is simply someone saying, I'm so sorry, I didn't do the right thing before, or I should have helped you out financially. It's not just your responsibility. I don't want you to sit in stress. We have to think about moving this forward. And there could be a lump sum of money, Sag, which is given to you. 
either as a gift to help you out or relating to a child. So this is really good news. So guys, underneath the deck we have eight of wands, lots of messages going backwards and forwards. There could also be travel. And with the six of pentacles, there could be a situation here, Sag, where you are offered financial assistance, or this could be you moving into an equal give and take relationship. There's a lot of love here with the Knight of Cups. Someone cares about you here, Sag. Beautiful. With the energy of the star, this is also healing. It could be anything from healing childhood wounds to healing, you know, a difficult situation. There's going to be, with a death card, major change and transformation. And with a six of wands, victory and success. Wow. Sag. This is a massive turnaround. Whatever this is for you, I think you were hoping to achieve something heading down one route, but it would have kept you connected to toxic energy. And I don't think the divine wanted you to go down that road. So what they're doing is diverting you to ask for help from someone else, a different group of people, move in a different direction. And if you do that, this is going to be very successful, very successful. And Sag, with the energy of the Four of Swords, you can take a deep breath and just relax. Because there's money given here, there's help for a child, or this is you moving into a beautiful connection with equal give and take. It's perfect, Saggy. It really is. So from here, let's get messages from the universe. Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Sagittarians? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. To end this reading, thank you, Michael. To the sea. Sag, they don't want you to feel as if you're sort of a ship without an anchor. This is you feeling very emotional, maybe feeling a bit disconnected, not quite sure where to go, feeling a little bit on your own. The divine is with you, okay? The divine is with you. What they're saying is, delve into your emotions, Sag. Try not to think quite so logically. Clean it up. So, Sag, if there has been a really difficult situation, it's got toxic, and if it's had anything, Sag, to do with something that you got yourself into... I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Then what they're saying is make sure that if there was any hurt or issues with people that you love and you know deep down that you need to clean this up, this was something that you had to deal with, then they're asking you to do that to bring about change. Now, Sag, it may also be that you may be moving towards someone who caused you a lot of problems and saying to that person, I need you to clean this up because it's unfair to rely on somebody else, right? So you may be going to somebody who caused you some problems and saying to that person, I'm sorry, but you need to handle this or you need to step up and do the right thing because it may not be fair to lean on somebody else's good nature to help you out. Yeah. Community. Sad, there are a lot of people around you that love you, but they are saying... Take care of the people that love you, the people that want to help you, rather than force people into a very difficult situation, you know, where they have to stand up for themselves so they're not walked over. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody else needs to accept responsibility somehow. Make sure that you keep close to your community, your family, that sort of thing. Yeah, because it's going to bring a lot of happiness. I feel sad you may have been in a really difficult situation. It could have related to partnership issues. It could have related to money. It could have been relating to children. 
even a job situation, you may have been struggling and felt as if you had no choice but to lean on someone or a group of people. What they're saying is that's not fair to do that. You need to move towards the person that caused you these problems to begin with and say to that person, you need to help me clean this up. This is your issue. I need help here, right? Yeah. And things are all going to go your way. All right, people, let's get a final message from Archangel Michael. Here we go. So Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, as a closing message of guidance for my lovely Sagittarians? What do we have for my lovely Saggies, please? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, let go of fear now. You're sitting in fear. Let it go. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic or ego-based thoughts or feelings. Okay, Satch? Alrighty. So, guys, if I have time, I'll do a bonus, but please forgive me if I don't have time. It may be your story next week. Take care of you. Have a lovely weekend and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon. Bye, Satch.